Welcome back to the Civ Tactical YouTube channel. Today I did a uh, custom one-on-one -on -one build with a customer. They uh, they wanted to uh, build up their AR-15 with one of uh, the Civ Tactical rifle kits. Uh, that's one of the products I offer in my store, www.civtactical.com. We offer uh, complete rifle kits to assemble your AR-15 for the home builder. I call them 90% kits. They come with everything you need, less the lower receiver. Customer came to me today with his strip lower. This gun started out like that, and then uh, the rifle kit that we provided gave him this end product. Um, this is the tactical patrol type, and we did some custom configurations. We went with a two-tone look. We went with the FDE flip-up sights from Magpul and the foliage furniture and the front grip, the pistol grip, and the stock. Um, here you can see we have the 10-inch free float rail, extended free float rail, low profile gas system, 16-inch 4140 chromoly steel, uh, M4 profile barrel with a 1 in 9 twist and chambered for 5.56 NATO, YHM uh, Phantom 5C2 flash hider compensator. Uh, like I said, the Magpul furniture uh, we have a Civ Tactical Forged 7075 Type 3 hard anodized M4 upper receiver. So this gun has really good components. We went with the industry standard and used a DPMS uh, lower parts kit. So that's the LPK he has in his gun here. The customer came to me because he wanted this gun assembled to the specifications that I assembled them to. I'm not a guy that just puts parts together. Um, I've been trained on this gun. I'm certified in the AR-15, and I know how to put these things together uh, to exceed factory specifications. We call it duty specs. We assemble uh, the ARs, we assemble our ARs to duty specifications for law enforcement and military type uses. It's, uh, there's a lot involved. We check extractor cam outs, uh, plunger ejector function. We dimple the barrels for gas block alignment. We make sure gas blocks are perfectly aligned. We check gas port diameters to eliminate over and under gassing. Um, we completely inspect bolt carrier groups for uh, proper specifications. Gas rings are removed, checked, and reinstalled in the proper direction they're supposed to be installed in. So there's a lot that goes on. We check trigger function. Uh, we match gauge headspace. I determine every upper that I build, I determine the headspace to the exact thousand, and then I log that in a book. So it's not, oh, you passed your field gauge or no-go and go gauge. It's match gauge headspace. I know the headspace to that gun to the exact thousand. We do that for two reasons. One, for accountability. Two, and we, we can check uh, chamber wear after thousands of rounds. A customer can send me his upper, and I can re-headspace it and see how much the chamber has worn and see how much the headspace has changed. But anyways, um, customer's very happy. I'm very happy with the build. Uh, here you can see the completed rifle kit, the tactical patrol type. You can check out our rifle kits uh, in the website that I mentioned earlier. But uh, I just wanted to update you and show you a little bit of what, uh, what our kits produce. Um, I expect good results out of this gun. I expect good function out of this gun. Um, I know it's going to work. Uh, I pretty much build these things to know that they're going to work. I, uh, I can't deal with this, this, this problem I see in the market a lot and I'm reading about it more and more. These brand new AR-15s, these brand new upper receivers from uh, certain named companies and they don't work. It's a brand new gun out of the box and it does not work. That's not right to me. Um, that doesn't make any sense to me and uh, I just want to provide quality and I want to uh, and I want to provide a nice product that works. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and uh, I will keep you guys updated.